Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a look at the code for the mouse sensor. And as usual we're starting here in the main CPP file and here we are including the mouse module. Here we have the CPP file for the module and here is the header file. But first let's have a look at the circuit. This is the circuit of the mouse module. The name of the mouse sensor is ADNS5050. And besides the sensor, we have an LED, resistor, and couple capacitors. And the connection happens via these pins. Now let's go back to the code. Before we're going to have a look at the code, I have to say that I don't really know myself how it's working. 99% of the code I copied from this forum. So if you go to this link, you will land here. And if you scroll down, somewhere here is the uh, finished code. So basically I just took that and made some adjustments. And here is the class of the sensor. So these are all internal stuff. And we have here initialize function and read the mouse sensor. Now let's go to the CPP file. Here again you will find the link to the forum. Then first we have the initialize function with just setting up the pins and starting the first communications between the sensor and the board. And here is the read sensor function. And at this part we are reading the movement of the sensor, either in Y or X direction. And then we are converting it from, uh, from byte to integer. And here we are adjusting the speed of the mouse. So these variables are coming from the links app. So if I'm moving this slider, then it changes uh, the mouse speed. And the calculation is happening here in this part. And then we're actually moving the cursor with a uh, mouse module. This is a standard module of the ASP32. And as I said before, I don't really know how exactly the rest of it is working. But if you want to know, just go to the link and have a read. That's it for the mouse module. Bye-bye.